Next up, I want to bring up um, an incredible performer called Jolly. Um, Ibu, can you uh, call up Jolly? He's going to He's going to promise, yes. Excellent. <laughs> Please be here together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
question here. Um, what country are you from? I born in Gambia. 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 In West Africa, each tramp has their own instruments. And their own players and singers. So these instruments come from Mandinga people. No? It's entire West Africa, not only Gambia. And the people who play them, we call them Jari. Kirios. Jari is a, someone who is playing instrument and singing. Any other questions around the room? Lots of many large ones. Um, this call I make it from here in the uh, UK. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, because of our we make callers and my family make the body, this part, and send it to me here to tell me and Grace and we do the neck. So what I was thinking about, because when you make a caller, you need too much sun, sign. Very hot sun. So I need it. And here it was not very <laughs> so, I was a little bit curious. How do you call her here? What kind of call her skin I will have? So I did two. Apparently, um, do, uh, this one, I just start to play my own. But that other one, that's really funny. And I say, English guy who bought it is living Gambia. <laughs> so he bought that here and took it to Gambia. <laughs> so this one is made by um, Calabas, in half of Calabas. Now, so you have cow, cow skin, this is cow skin, and handle is mahogany, and the steering is sitting like. And you have um, 11 string in right, and you have 10 string. So you have this line in left, you have kind of an improvisation side and this uh, kind of play rhythm and body in the left. So you can improvise both sides, the left and right. Is that question back here a bit? Is the music written? Yeah, I mean, um, choral music. It's not written because of our language. Gambia with the Mandinka people just not um, Mandinka people don't have written language. So but now um, there is a very well for a player in the UK and Europe and America. So some people they write their music, they write the university will study about one particular person, they write their music, how they play and what kind of write it down and play the program. Yeah, now it's going to work out really. Oh, we've got one, okay. we've got two over here, over the way. Okay. Just, just a brief question. I mean, I just love it, but I just wondered if women play chorus as well, because I've only seen men playing. Is there any sort of rule about it, or have you seen any okay. women about it? <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, um... <laughs> Yeah, I would love to. Very good question. I'm happy to help you. I mean, obviously, we can be traditional of Syria in West Africa. It's a very different. So basically, before, it used to be passed on to generations. But the, um, just like the eldest son was the one that would take over from the father. But now, um, generations have changed. There is a very famous Cora player in the UK. Some of you will know the famous late Cora player, Sona Giovanni, who is, um, obviously has a problem with tradition. But, um, see, he's a period. And um, obviously, um, within the period, Family, these female period also has a role because um, 
the Gilead men, when Gilead was first established during the reign of Sunjita Kenta and Sumangu, the Gilead were accompaniments to they carry the king, they are the ones that would counsel the king because no one else could speak to the king apart from the Gilead because the Gilead are the ones that are had got the courage to speak to the king. The peacemakers. So, and the Gilead will accompany the king and the warriors to battlefield. So, but the female Gilead also had their role. Their role was obviously what they were the ones that were um, left behind, but left behind, they were counseling, they were looking after the people who were behind because what they do, they establish stories and they tell them stories about the bravery of the men and people who went to war. And obviously, they are kind of unfolding them. So, the and when the but that's not happening, and there is a ceremonial Gilead congregation, the men would play the chorus. The yeah. Gilead ladies or the Gilead female Gilead will be the ones that will have the singing. And play the back here. Yeah, and they play the back. They give mm -hmm. the back. Because what happens is the Gilead, they are oral historians. They are the custodians of history. They are the ones that mm -hmm. translate history. They are the ones that are the knowledge bank of history. So um, we're doing a project later on in the year called West African Gilead Stories. Which obviously will have all this information. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, this is what the period is about. But, and the female period. Okay. I was just going to ask if people sing along to the music. Yeah. Oh, you really want to have one more song? Thank you. Yeah, that would be a page. Yeah. Because of in West Africa, we have now Kora is getting a very advanced, and we Kora players. We, we have our own rules in platform, the way here, you don't use tuna, and we play our own way, like classic way. And there are so many songs, each song means something, each song has a view, each song means some family, and history, culture, so but, uh, now why there is, I mean, I'm so caught up that I sing, but not much. Because of our, um, we put all out of the song with the best that we, you know, we, you know, musical notation. So, you know, which you can get connected with, with other people. But um, if you want to sing here, you know, you have to take some proper singing lesson. So now I'm going to play one of the African songs and sing a little bit. So if it's out of tune, just. <laughs> 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 Stop, 
Mitala kumbu soraya, nyabo na kumbu fe, pani mfato le jabitari. Tunyala stoko matu soko.
Thank you.